Dunban, how is your arm holding up? <laughs> you mean this old thing? The others told me what happened a year ago at Sword Valley. It must have been very painful. <laughs> it hardly even bothers me now. I'm used to left hazard style now. It must be tough, though. Only a year ago you were fighting with the Monado, and this is your reward. <laughs> you think losing the use of one arm is going to hold me back? You really can't use your right arm, then? That's a real shame. <laughs> I have no regrets. Without the Monado, we would never have repelled the Mechon. I did, I did what anyone would have done. There you go again, showing off in that special Dunban way. <laughs> I wouldn't be in any fit state to be show, uh, showing off if not for all of you. Wow, that's some honesty right there. I can't believe I've stripped away so many layers so quickly. <laughs> did I say too much? No, it was quite sweet, actually. <laughs> um, can I ask you not to tell Ryan about this conversation? If you ever found out, I wouldn't hear the end of it. Don't worry, my lips are sealed. Very short and sweet, sweet conversation. Be a Dunban, always and will will be badass. Hey everyone, welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. In the last episode, yeah, we just did a few things around Conley Six, and we invited a single, a single member that can be invited here. So. We have every option open to us regarding side quests and abilities, except for one particular thing, but we'll get into that when we get to it, because tr trust me, it's a mahoosive thing to do. First off, though, another person who, in, in, in which we invited is Narara. What do you guys say? Narara is studying to find cure for her friend's illness. In pavement, apparently. But Narara have big problems. Mephi Mephi have wacky theory that Narara's friend ill with curse. Narara not believe her, but Mephi Mephi's more experienced. So Narara want friends to help Mephi Mephi. If Mephi Mephi correct, Narara's friend in big trouble. While friend away, Narara will continue to make medicine. Finding a logical explanation for the illness is the best thing. It's strange for a scientific-minded person to be considering curses. Narara agree with Shulk, but Mephi Mephi sounds so sure. She always sounds sure. Friends must help her. Lock on resist. Because why not? Please find Mephi Mephi and ask her what to do next. Thank you, friends. Yay, let's speak to someone who who's in, 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 in the exact same spot, but in night time. What a distance we've traveled. <laughs> Nora told me your friend's sick. Her friend very sick, she says. Friend not like Mr. Sun anymore. Mephi Mephi know the reason why. Narara's friend's cursed. Mephi Mephi know how to lift curse from Narara's friend. A fragment found where Mr. Sun rarely visits is the key. It called the statue fragment and the place is Satora Marsh. It found in high up place where Sororal statues stand. Using the strange power of the fragment, her curse can be lifted. Guess what? We found it. <laughs> Accidentally because we were thinking of going to the marsh to do something else but I guess we've just kind of Skip the step, I suppose. Either way, <laughs> here you go. That's it, friends have it. Now power of Mr. Sun get weak and Narara's friend curse can be lifted. Take it to Narara. As in like, go to sleep and talk to her. <laughs> Can't these friends like meet in the middle of the day? I don't know. I mean, cause she's doing nothing except look, I look at these two boilers, canisters. Probably ether canisters. Either way, what you got? Good timing, friends. Narara all finished with medicine. All Narara needs to do is mix ingredient with medicine. Friends, wait here. Those books must be really painful on the spine. Uh-huh. Breaking up on back. Wowee, medicine twice as strong now. Mephi Mephi's brilliant scientist. Friends can drink this anytime and get your friend of illness. Thank you. So she's implying that we we drink it and everything will be fine. They're all very grateful, friends. I'm sure you are, Prince. While you're breaking your back, we get lock on resist because we're locking onto the, the solution. Ish. Anyway, you got more. Friends, come here. They're all grateful for medicine, but lazy bones, berry jammy, no drink it. 
Grandma make medicine taste nice, but she still refuses to drink it. Hurry, Jam, he's not getting better. Uh oh. <laughs> Narara worried for Barry Jammy's life. Can friend persuade her to drink medicine? We can, and we ought to get a pan for, pan for gloves for it. Narara think one person not enough to persuade her. It best to have lots of people try and talk to Barry Jammy. Narara always tried to look lots of ways to make Barry Jammy take it. Now, now this is an odd duck, if I were to put it bluntly, because. This implies that it takes one specific character. Technically it does, but it isn't actually a skill tree uh, side quest. But, you know, let's talk to Shulk. L let's talk to her as Shulk and see what she says. Wee. Aren't you going to drink the medicine the Rara made you? Very jammy not want to drink something that looked bad for me. Charla, you're a medic. You should be able to tell her, you know, drink it up just fine. You should know. Nora poured her heart into making that for you. She spent all night studying what cures and medicines might work. That medicine contains all the love and kindness Nora has for you. She cares about you so much she made a cure for your illness. So be a good girl and drink up now. I'm grateful to Narara, but very jammy not care who make it. Not going to drink it. Um... Ricky, your fellow Nopon, you can make sense of this. Please? Wee. Berry Jammy, listen to Hero Pon. Berry Jammy just must drink medicine or else big trouble. People worry about Berry Jammy. Narara, Ricky and family too. That's why Berry Jammy drink it now. Ricky, not Berry Jammy's dad upon. Berry Jammy, same as Ricky's little pawn back in village. Naughty and spoilt. <laughs> 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 Ricky's not even trying to encourage or, p or persuade. Just, that, that's what just Ricky's saying. Screw you. Better, Ricky. <laughs> Melia, you are, have a good affinity with the Nopon, plus you are of royal blood. Can't you make some kind of upper bionic decree? Please? You must drink it or you will only cause yourself more pain. It is pain something you like. But Barry Jammy's sick. First lady should stop being mean. So you are sick, then you should drink. But Barry Jammy's very scared. We're getting somewhere. You know what? Since since we've cracked the shell a little bit, if you're maybe your kind and loving, you know, a nice persona might might it might help. It's just some delicious juice. Why don't you try it? Very jammy know what it is. It look yuck yuck and smell yuck yuck. No. Well, you tried. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan? If you don't drink that now, you're gonna get sick, kid. Very jammy not sick. If anything, very jammy sick of being bullied like before. That doesn't sound too much of good. <laughs> You know what, man? You're right. Don't drink the medicine. I'm helping. <laughs> My name's Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it ends. I'm sorry. Every time we see the dialogue exchange, I just can't help but laugh. <laughs> Ryan, you're useless. You might, you, might, you might as well get to the back of the line. Of course it's Dunban. Dunban can make anyone, uh, can make anyone do anything. Yeah, the key is in the name of the side quest. If in case you're not sure of what it is, Obstinance Berry Jam- Ob Obstinance Berry Jammy, and guess who has Obstinance? Yep. This guy! <laughs> yeah, sure. Ryan and Dunban ganging up on one knop on this doesn't look bad at all. <laughs> yeah, get him, boys! <laughs> My god. Wee. Scared, huh? Little one, drink your medicine. If you don't, how can you enjoy the outside with your friends? Berry Jammy like you. I'm a man cool. The medicine may not look nice, but I assure you it tastes good. And many people went to a lot of hard work to make that medicine. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, hum hum sir. Very jammy be very good now pun and drink it all up. Very jammy drink up all medicine and get all better. 
You just have to be cool like Dunbar <laughs> and a constant badass. It's almost like the oh, it's almost like the opening of this episode meant something. Anyway, you you know what to do. Speak to speak to Nara Ra during, during daytime. Don't bother to talk to me. Because what is the point? She took her medicine? It miracle. Mary Jan will definitely get better if she take it every day. Now she build up her immunity against illness and be all well. It's not long before Barry Jammy can play outside with Narara. Narara can't wait! We got that. We don't have to go for the gloves we don't want to. That's literally all we have to do. And the Infinity Shard, looking good and nicely connected. Mm-hmm. Yay! And there we are. But now we have another thing to take care of, and it's something that we were alluding to um, a minute ago before we accepted this quest. So if we go out and look around the block somewhere, Yora, I refuse to say what I'm going to call you, Yora something. <laughs> but anyway, let's have a chat, shall we, mate? Yes. What? Was it you? Did, did you help that old machina? I'm currently considering where, where to write a poem about old lady. However, she spurs my she, she spurns my requests, and yet I'm and yet I have to write even a word. It seems that she doubts my motives based on my looks. Would you kindly persuade her to allow me this selfish request? I mean, her no harm. I only wish to make her into a literary legend. I need to talk to Nyan. I can help her understand. She refuses still to go to Erisink and, and, and collect the toboggan wing. Give it to her and gauge her reaction for me. If that fails, then I say surrender. Oh, beatable four. Huh? This is worth your time because not only does it create a bit more affinity, but it makes you fight a, a, unique, a unique monster. And, again... All around goodness. Mm hmm. How's it going? Yes. You've come to talk to me about that poet, right? I just can't bring myself to trust that man. I won't end up a laughing stop no matter how many times he asks. I guess we help. It doesn't really matter which one you go for, but since it's more personal. He's not a bad. He's not a bad person. Just, just a douche. Why would anyone want to write a poem about me? He must have a hidden agenda. She's really not buying it. Better think of another plan. Well, luckily he bought he bought up another plan for you, so you have to go all for the way to RFC. But we all we all do that in. In, in due time, because there's also another person in which we need to go to and deal and deal with. And my God, it's been a long time. So, oh, so th uh, this was a source of a rant we had a few episodes ago. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy, do I still hate it, and and do I still have a problem with it? But now that car a uh, six has decided to move its ungrateful ass. And actually decide to move us along in terms of narrative and all and all that good stuff. We we can actually go ahead and do what we set out to do. I think it's because we didn't invite a whole lot of people. I know, and also goddamn affinity, but but that's besides the point. Not poor Rick. We need, we need you to help Nick. <laughs> My student has gotten greatly improved thanks to you. Now be the time to prepare him for his final test. <laughs> uh oh, he might die. That doesn't sound good. <laughs> hey, hold on. Can you not see I be like talking? You can be friendlier than that. I need you to do something that may be quite a handful. But remember, and not not for me, for her, my student. So be a good friend to Nick and help him out, won't you? I again need you to investigate which is harder test. First goes to Zermarsh and defeat Indomitable Dalton. Okay. I think it'd be more dangerous this time. Please take care. 
we are going to be cutting corners here in this side quest. I will, I will be 100% honest because we are going to show this Yenny monster off, no, no problem. However, his follow-up request for this side quest is to... Is, is he wants you to take out 10 quad wings in the marsh at night time. The, these are up in the trees and they're docile, so you have to attack them at your own abolition. To cut things short, they're not much. They're just quad wings which specialize in sleeping and ganking up on you, just with, just with more and more stats. Plus you're at a disadvantage are going up against night time unless you have night visions in which case yes i would re i recommend you have some at this point in time we're going to avoid you because you are not the problem here mr beelzebub <laughs> uh -huh, we're just going to Shim shimmy along rocks and trees and whatnot. It's almost like uh, these rocks and trees are here to add, add cover. Who'd have thought? Yes, if you couldn't tell, we have already be been here. So let's just be right back and take care of the uh, the grunts, as it were. Final push as he falls off. Sorry about the cut there, had to make sure everything plays because boy, you are going to need it for this guy. This guy is a physical beast and there is a reason why he's got a lot of people around him. First of all, this guy has two craze has two craze attacks. One one for himself and another for everyone around him. And plus, he has Taunt, which can, which draws attention to, uh, to himself and the, and, the, and the others to cheer, to cheer away from you, which is not good. And mostly, this guy is, pre is pretty much a physical beast. Because, nah, they're physical. Mm -hmm. But honestly, there, uh, there isn't really, really much else I talk about this guy. He's big, he's bulky, and he's got backup, which you can enhance. But if you're speedy and you're able to take care of things really quick, or quickly, like, uh, like this, then this is pretty much an, e an easy fight for to win. So much so that he is the first guy to go down in this throwaway, as it were. He didn't even get a chance to go crazy. Nope. And apparently his entourage is joined, but you know what? You've seen everything here, so we are just going to cut things there, and we are just going to kill them all off screen. Because that's what Dumban does. He kills. But no one sees this. <laughs> Cyclone would have been satisfying there. I know. This is what chain attack combos do, and god damn, I love it. If you are able, if you're, if you're able to keep up for the attack combos and multiplies in your chain attack, then he's pretty much a cakewalk to take down. So, how, as, uh, no worries about that. However, if you need to know what our books he drops, he, he drops Aura Burst, Peerless, Slit Edge, and Fan Power. Fan Power, I will drain. He's the best way to get Slit Edge. He is, unfortunately, but hey, at least it's a simple fix and a simple solution, so hey, do that, or do that, what you will. After the early 80s, he can be a decent grinding spot for Arts and Infinity as well, so how about it? And like I said before, this side quest is done, and this is the most no notable part of that side quest. And the other part is just take it's taking out quad wings. So we are just going to cut to the uh, results of that quest, and then we'll see you in a bit. It takes a while, but they eventually get over it. 
How'd it go? Well, this is an easy victory. Now go back to Saturno Marsh and defeat 10 Grove Quad Wings. I know you can do it. Here's the thing. I really wish this side quest was just, hey, beat Dalton and beat Quad Wings in the same quest. Because I feel like this is padding. Mm -hmm. You, it could, uh, the game could, uh, Davi said, hey, beat these things back to back and see which one is tougher. Because not only that, Spoiler alert, there aren't 10 quad wings that spawn consecutively around the map. So, in theory, you have to reload this side quest multiple times in order to get the results you want. Which I feel like is a bit of a timing waste if I were to be so bold. But to be fair, it's a Carney 6 quest. <laughs> yeah, it sticks to the gimmick, and my god, is it proud of it. It's like, <laughs> oh, guess what? I'm Juju, and I like wasting Shulk's time because I'm Juju. I can't do anything on my own. It's just a pain in the ass, so. <laughs> eh. Anyway, though, we'll see you after these ten guys have died. By our shock boy hands. Because again, like, again, you got to throw the rock. Wait for him. He got stuck on the terrain. <laughs> the hell! <laughs> My god, my god, when I said this was a waste of your time, my god, the game side needs to emphasize that. You can see, easy, be, be easy, and you get electric pluses, which is not bad, but you probably have a lot more efficient items that do the exact same thing already in your inventory. If this thing like dropped a lot of like re really really good items, then I would understand that uh, you taking the time to uh, take this guy down, or whether his rare drops are are worth like a lot or a lot of side quests. But there really aren't a lot of good reasons to constantly grind these things. So. I guess the only thing you could go for is, sell is selling fodder, but again, there are a lot more enemies and a lot more items which give a lot more things more more efficiently. Do does one of their rare drops to give anything for the replica monados? No. Ha. Huh. No, because we got treasure. Quadwing treasure. Yeah. Because then we'll always lose, <laughs> we'll al we'll always lose a rock pa paper scissors. <laughs> wow! <laughs> <laughs> wow! <sighs> okay, didn't know that. <laughs> dude, dude, I know it's a random thing to talk about, but I know, I know, there's like rock paper scissors tournaments that go around. That that'd be very useful. Just give it to your opponent as a gag gift. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's daytime. That's what you think, game. Could you teach me how to use a rifle sometime? So that's how it is. Given up the sword already. No, no, that's not it at all. Oh, let him have a go, Dunban. Abandon his training and the Monado and all the sacrifices he's made. Make it null and void. Why not? Yay, that took a lot longer than what I would like to admit. <laughs> and did we get anything from that? No, not really. A bunch of cursed items. <laughs> a bunch of rock pain precisions as victories. <laughs> <laughs> so, if we ever have a disagreement on who does what, play rock pain precisions as and you win. I could just imagine Sh Ryan and Charlotte doing that, and then Ryan just presents the quad wing treasure. Uh-huh. <sighs> <sighs> okay. Who's gonna do the armor pen? Conley 6, not me, man. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. 
Oh, guess what, man? You lose, Shulk. Ah, you'll be back safe and sound. Which was the most challenging? One enemy? Even though it was a, wasn't really that big of a deal? Oh, one enemy. I suppose it'd be Nick's final test. He does need a challenge. I shall have him face one. When you next sees him, he will become a great warrior. Thank you for all your help, friends. Now I would like to see Nick. Hopefully, if we can just see how he's doing. Also, I'm free. Yay! <laughs> so, I guess that will send done. We can at least talk to Nick before after we end things off. So, you know what? Let's do it. And Yora, don't worry. We'll take care, we'll take care of you in due time, I promise. Probably in the next episode. Uh-huh. Because... We need to decipher if you are a good person or not. Oh well. Nick is all the way up here on his lonesome. In fighting shape though it would it, it would appear. Just don't punch me in the face. You Nick. How's it going? I'm surprised to hear that. Rosemary's from Con 9 as well. It's a good thing she never knew what I was like back then. Buddy, we have blackmail on you now. There's also someone else that's doing well in Colony 6 too. <laughs> you should have seen me. I didn't even notice I existed. I was nobody living a meanest existence. Without change, something sleeps inside us, as did with me. But yeah, to Alice's point, if you remember a few episodes back, we came across a random nameless Nopon who wanted friends. I was wondering why no one wanted to be friends with him. And he just wanted people to like him because, you know, it just wasn't fair that one person could left on their own even though they did nothing wrong. Mm-hmm. As someone who wanted friends and couldn't get them for one, re one reason or another. Here you go. Again, if you remember... Let's go on your friends. How you doing, buddy? Me finally make a new friend! Me met over 100 people here and finally one is my friend! Uh, yay! <laughs> now we have so many people li li living here, people envy us! Me know lots of people who want to come live here with us! Friends must tell people about this place too! Get them to come! <laughs> no one is, buddy! <laughs> but. God, that simplifies you a lot. Yeah. To cut things short, eh, we weren't too far like this. Or, or too far off from this. And to be honest, I think I think, I think the same thing could be said for this channel. Yeah, sure. A hundred people might come and go, watch this video, and say, the hell, what the hell's this? <laughs> but if one person, and it could be you, if you like this video, if you like content, if you like us, hey, you know what? Welcome. We appreciate you. And you know what? You're awesome. Yeah. <laughs> All you guys are awesome. For every comment, every like we get. Really, really appreciate us. And you never know. That at that one act of kindness, it might change someone's life. I don't know. I think out of all 40 NPCs, the nameless ones at least. You're my favorite buddy. Yeah, I want to hug him. <laughs> I know. I want to be his friend too. No, no. Just a little food for thought. One nice gesture could change everything for this life. I mean, take me for example. I got married because I said, hey, 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 random girl on, on internet. I like your stuff. <laughs> and guess what? I'm now married to that red woman. <laughs> the small things that cause big cha changes. But on that good heart, you no know, guys, we are going to end things off here. So, if you like this video, be sure to like it. And if, and if you do, you're goddamn awesome. If you don't like the video, but well, guess what? You're still awesome, but hey, thanks for watching anyway. 
But if you want to subscribe to see more content like this and meet new people on this weird corner of our... I guess our lives. <laughs> then be sure to just subscribe. Until then, guys. I've been Lightning. I'm Alice. And we'll see you guys next time.